Hello traders and investors, how are you doing today my friends? Welcome to another video here in the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan and today Tesla is dropping 0.59%. It seems it's just a very boring stock, right? Which is quite weird because we are talking about Tesla, which is not boring at all. But since January 31, Tesla is moving in a sideways correction. When will this correction end? I mean, we have been there for a while, dancing around the 900 area, and uh, well, we see nothing interesting. So, I do believe in this video, we will find some answers. I really believe I'm going to be helpful to you guys. So, remember to click on the like button to support this channel. And if you are new around here, if this is your first time watching me, I advise you to subscribe because, again, I believe this video might be very helpful to you. Let's analyze Tesla's price action over here. Uh, this is the one hour chart, Tesla's one hour chart. What we see here is, okay, since, Jan since January 31, we are moving in a sideways correction. However, this movement is very technical. The resistance is clearly $943, this purple line area up here. Today, we hit this point, we even went a little bit above this price level, but in the end, we could not close above it. We could not do a proper breakout and Tesla lost strength. And okay, we close it below this resistance again, indicating that yes, indeed, this purple line is our most important resistance level to work with in the short term. However, we have very decent support levels as well, especially the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement and the 50% Fibonacci retracement. Even in the most stressful scenarios, Tesla respected these supports very nicely. So yes, this support area is very strong. And as long as we don't see any clear bullish structure on Tesla, it's not going to do a breakout neither upwards or downwards. It, it will just keep dancing around the 21 EMA, which is totally flat right now, indicating to us that yes, it is a sideways correction and uh, there is nothing indicating we're gonna do a breakout. However, we have scenarios to work with. If Tesla, by any chance, if we break the $943, which I believe, this is the scenario that I believe it's going to happen, okay? me. Nathan, as a retail trader, as a retail investor, that's what I believe it's going to happen. I believe Tesla is going to break this resistance, this purple line over here at some point in the future. I don't know when, I don't need to know when, all I need to know is that the bias is slightly more bullish than bearish. Maybe, maybe we are doing even an ascending triangle, right? Check this chart pattern connecting the previous bottoms and the previous tops. It seems to be an ascending triangle. I would not count too much on that, but still, it is slightly more bullish than bearish to me. And I do believe we're gonna do a breakout of this purple line. If we do, I believe our first target, which is around the $1,000, is going to be easily defeated. I believe we're gonna break this resistance level in one single bullish flag. Why? Because we have been accumulating for a few days right now. If Tesla went up right straight to our target, then okay, I would be extremely skeptical about a breakout. I would believe we're gonna see pullback, there's some correction, and then we could go up again to the 1115s, which is my personal target in Tesla, the, the target that I am really working with for the midterm, all right? I'm not saying short term, I'm saying midterm. But uh, right now, if Tesla actually breaks this purple line, okay, we're gonna break this resistance. Maybe we're gonna find another resistance. I do, not, I, I do not believe that we're gonna hit the 11.15 in one single bullish leg. I'm not saying this. What I'm saying is that probably we're gonna trade above the 1K before we can do another pullback, all right? So this is what I believe. But what if Tesla, what if this scenario does not materialize? What if Tesla drops? Well, if Tesla drops, we have a very nice and decent leading indicator, uh, leading indicator, I'm so sorry, to work with, which is the NASDAQ index. See, the NASDAQ 
it is doing higher highs, higher lows. Today, it did a lower high comparing to the previous high. If we do, if we lose this purple line again, I believe we're gonna engage not necessarily in a bear trend, but maybe we're gonna ruin the bullish bias and uh, Tesla could probably drop to lower levels, okay? So the main indicator we should analyze for now is the Nasdaq index. If it loses this purple line, I do believe Tesla is going to drop potentially to fill this runaway gap. I do not believe the Fibonacci retracements could hold Tesla if this scenario materializes on the Nasdaq index, okay? I, I, I do not believe this. Any of these Fibonacci retracements are going to hold Tesla price, Tesla's price, and we're going to fill this gap. That's the bearish scenario we could work with. Again, I, I do understand that this is a true possibility, but I'm not considering it right now because we lack bearish structures. Again, guys, we can't predict anything. As long as we see the Nasdaq index trading above this purple line, this scenario is just fiction to me, okay? This scenario is not true. It, it, it's not happening right now. It, it, it didn't happen, it's not happening, so I have no reasons to believe it will happen. But if it does, and this is why I always tell you guys, trading is reactive, it is not predictive reactive let's react to what we see instead of trying to predict instead of trying to say oh i believe the nasdaq is going to lose this purple line well based on what i mean you should have a very solid fundamental basis explaining every single one of your decisions in this wild market so right now then that then is the nasdaq in a bear trend no it's not it is in a bull trend it is in a bull trend. Although the previous top was lower than the previous top, uh, this top was lower than the previous top, I'm sorry. It is still in a bull trend. We still could see a higher high and another higher low. As long as we don't see any lower lows, okay, the Nasdaq will be just fine. What's more, another technical thing that supports my bullish thesis is are these two gaps. I firmly believe these gaps are going to be filled. All right. Remember, gaps are an, an important part of our trading methodology, and uh, I always like to use them as targets. And I do believe this gap one is going to be filled in the next few days. Meaning, Tesla has more upside potential. It could even break our resistance easily if it breaks the nine hundred, the nine hundred and forty. That's my bullish thesis for you guys. And let's see how Tesla is in the daily chart, just in case, right? I mean, we only watched the one hour chart. Let's study the daily chart. In the daily chart, I find very curious this. This is very curious. Why, Nathan? Because we had bearish candlesticks. We had a bearish reaction. But look at how low this volume was. This is telling us that we don't see true sell pressure in Tesla. It makes zero sense to sell Tesla right now. I mean, if you are a Tesla bear, if you bet that the price is going to drop, well, the moment to sell was near 1208. That was a good sell. Anything below that? The risk reward ratio makes no sense. Uh, right, right now, especially right now, we are near support levels. Clearly, the bear trend is exhausted, so no one, no one is crazy enough to sell Tesla at this moment, and the volume is indicating that to us. What's more, we just hit a support level made by this purple trend line in the daily chart. We are already in a bullish bias in the one hour chart, and if you look in the weekly chart, we did a fantastic false breakout from the 900s last week, as I told you. And if you consider, if you consider this, uh, let me see, March 2020 support level, there is a clear trend line connecting all the bottoms since roughly two years ago. So it seems to me Tesla just retested a support level. Right now it is reacting. This is a very natural movement. This happens all the time. So this drop was not a reason to panic at all. I think right now, since we are near support level, since we have bullish reactions, since the Nasdaq is already in a bull trend, 
I see only opportunities and excuses to buy instead of to sell. Are you going to sell near support levels? Probably you're going to sell to the same smart portfolio manager who sold Tesla up here and it's going to buy back from you, all right? So right now it makes no sense to sell Tesla in my humble opinion. That's my bullish thesis for you guys. Uh, I updated my bullish thesis for you guys. And remember, if this video helped you, remember to subscribe at this channel. I record videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and on Fridays. I will probably record daily videos soon for you guys since our channel is growing so nicely. I really appreciate your support, my friends. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Farewell.